Your money, Mr. Kimber. Rescued from the Lee brothers and returned to you with a request for a fair hearing. Your own protection is failing, Mr. Kimber. Your boys are taking cuts. I want to suggest that from now on, you contract out your racetrack security to the Peaky Blinders. We'd be saving you a lot of money, Mr. Kimber. A lot of money. In return, you give us 5% of the take and three legal betting pitches at every race meeting north of the River Severn, rising to six after one year if we are all satisfied with the service. What do you say, Mr. Kimber? I say you talk business to my accountant. I want to dance. Your man said it was all right for me to have this dance. How many men can you put in the field at one time? There's a lot of men out of work at the moment. Two guards for every booking. At every meeting? We have contacts with good people among the gypsies. <clears throat> we'll always know when the Lees plan to attack. With all the strikes and troubles, can't really depend on the police. Anyway, we're more honest. Looks like you two are making a deal. We are making progress. Let me throw a small condition into the mix. So listen, uh, we're going to go for dinner at Kimber's house. Here's a place uh, a couple of miles away. I have some business to settle first with this accountant, so you go on ahead with Kimber. Just me and him? Yeah. Till I'm done here. Is that all right? Look, I'll throw in an extra three quid for your extra time. You think I'm a whore? Everyone's a whore, Grace. We just sell different parts of ourselves. You said you wanted to work for me. To do that, you have to sharpen up. The deal is, I'll give him two hours with you. He thinks he's a ladies man. He thinks he can seduce you. Whenever you want, just kick him in the balls. I'm a class in a contract. If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. Do we have a deal? As a sweetener, you can try your luck with mine. Yeah, we have a deal. Two hours? Yeah. Side bet, 10 pounds is over fucked in one. Mademoiselle. 